So we're not here to discuss philosophy. So basically, I don't care if you believe in homeopathy or not, but homeopathy is going to be what we're going to be talking about briefly. I'm going to share with you the remedies that have helped me for these particular issues through the years, mainly pain, and even more mainly, lower back pain. In terms of homeopathy, one of my favorite ready remedies, meaning that's put out by a company, is actually from the Heal Company in Switzerland, plug plug, and it's a homeopathic remedy called Traumil. Whether you're using the cream or the pills, I highly recommend it. Very good for all sorts of pain, especially lower back pain. In terms of homeopathic combinations, the best combination that I personally recommend is a combination of Arnica, Rustox, and Rutagrav. You could combine the remedies or take them each individually, but if you take them together, you'll probably get the best and quickest relief and results. So I'm going to just tell you briefly about each of the remedies. Arnica. Arnica is your homeopathic first aid remedy. It's used in trauma, and it's the first remedy for injuries, bruises, etc., and also for muscular strain and fatigue. All sorts of trauma is treated with Arnica. Falls, sprains, blows, wounds, fractures, soft tissue injury. It reduces and prevents pain, bleeding, bruising, and swelling, and it prevents secondary infection, and it accelerates heating. The next remedy in the combination is Rustox, which I mentioned. Rus is used for acute sprains, chronic arthritis, neuralgia, restlessness, and stiffness. And it's one of the most important joint remedies. So it affects all the joints in a good way. It deals with connective and fibrous tissue, especially ligaments. And Rus may be useful and effective for literally any joint in the body. The third partner in this particular combination, Ruta, otherwise known as Ruta Grav, is used for joints, tendons, or cartilage injuries. It helps damage or weakness, bruises, pains, aching, and soreness. It affects tendons, cartilage, periosteum, bone, and the sites of tendon insertion. Basically, when you take this particular group of remedies together, the dosage it should be taken at is anywhere between 6 to 15 CH. That's what I recommend. Anything higher than that, you're getting into constitutional remedies and things that are more in the realm of classical homeopathy, which is not what we're trying to do over here. We're basically dealing with a symptomatic remedy over here that will deal with the pain and with the different uh, problems that you're dealing with in terms of what's causing you to have lower back pain or other sorts of symptoms in the area, including sciatica, stiffness, radiation to your lower extremities, etc. So let's take a couple of moments now to discuss a couple of amazing supplements, MSM and Celadrin. MSM is methyl sulfonyl methane. Again, look it up on the internet. Basically, it's a sulfur-based supplement that's present in a lot of the foods that we eat, especially fruits and vegetables, but not in the sort of concentration that it's available in, in pill form. Since it's a sulfur-based supplement, it's actually a collagen builder. And we know that collagen fibers in our body are present in ligaments, tendons, cartilage, the discs in our back. And as well, we also have collagen in our hair, nails, and teeth. So it's an amazing supplement in terms of helping rebuild and recycling the collagen in our body. What I would tell you is, if you're taking MSM, again, it's just my personal recommendation, ask your pharmacist or doctor, take a thousand milligrams three times a day if you're in pain. For maintenance, a thousand milligrams a day is sufficient. 
The other supplement is Celadrin. Celadrin actually works on the cell membrane, the, the membrane of our cells. So, Celadrin itself is made up of fatty acid esters, which cause the cell membrane to be more, uh, I guess you can say it affects uh, the lubrication of the cell membrane. And if there's any inflammation, it helps to reduce it. Again, in terms of the actual mechanisms of how and why, you could look that up yourself. What I would tell you is that if you keep kosher, be aware, Celadrin is not kosher. It comes from animal-based sources, and if you need to take it and you keep kosher, ask your local rabbi to see what's entailed. So basically, there's a lot of supplements out there. What I'm giving you is my personal best, and in combination, they work. So try it. So there's many resources out there. Do the research. Help yourself. Please, I want to hear from you. Make sure to send me feedback. And I look forward to hearing good news. So, remember my motto. Stop kvetching, start living. I'm Michael Larry Braun, osteopath and athletic therapist. Thanks for viewing my program.